Hello friends! Thursday did not disappoint us in terms of action. We had a lot of interesting news, transfer rumors and results once again. There is no time to waste. Subscribe to the channel, give a like to this video and write in the comments below the game that you didn't actually watch and then regretted it. While we will proceed to begin. UEFA has moved the Champions League final from Istanbul to Porto, according to the organization's official website. Jules Koundé from Sevilla is the number one transfer target for Manchester United, claims Gianluca Di Marzio. Zinedine Zidane will leave Real Madrid even if his team wins the La Liga. The Frenchman can't stand the lack of support from Florentino Paris. Liverpool is on the list of clubs waiting to take Lautaro Martinez away from Inter. If we lose the league, we only have ourselves to blame. It will be us who lost the title, not Lille who won it. Be in sports, quotes Kylian Mbappe. Chiro Immobile scored his 150th goal for Lazio and became the club's new record holder. Arsenal offered Emil Smith Rowe a new five year contract, writes Fabrizio Romano. Jaden Sancho, who is now 21 years and 49 days old, became the youngest player to score a brace in the German Cup final. Marseille will try to sign Sassuolo midfielder Jeremy Boga, reports Foot Mercato. Jürgen is an inspiration for me. With what he has done at Dortmund and Liverpool, he made me think a lot about football in my team. Manchester Evening News quotes the words of Guardiola. Barcelona is monitoring the progress of Villarreal forward Gerard Moreno, reports ESPN. Inter will be open for a sale of Romelu Lukaku if the Belgian price tag is at least 120 million euros. Bruno Fernandes has set a record among Premier League midfielders for the amount of goals per season. The Portuguese has already scored 28 of them and outstripped Frank Lampard's achievement. PSG may part with Mauro Icardi in the summer. The Parisians are ready to consider offers for the Argentine. Thomas Tuchel wants to see Marco Verratti in Chelsea, reports Nani Min. Juventus hasn't lost a single match this season when Buffon was on the pitch. 11 wins and 2 draws in 13 games. Some Barcelona players doubt the tactical decisions of Ronald Koeman. Jose Mourinho wants Manchester United goalkeeper Sergio Romero to join him at Roma, notifies The Telegraph. Holland has netted 38 goals in 39 appearances for Borussia Dortmund in all competitions this season. Massimiliano Allegri is a priority candidate for Napoli as the new coach of the team. According to Lead and Sport, a well-known Parisian agency is looking for a home for Messi and his family. Marcus Rashford has already scored five goals against Liverpool, more than any other team in his career. I didn't know that Nagelsmann would also move to Bayern. It's funny how it happened. Julian is an amazing coach, Dayo Pamecano told The Athletic. Milan is interested in the services of Lille and the Netherlands national team defender Sven Batman. My dream is to play with Ronaldo. I played alongside Messi and Mbappe, but never played with Cristiano," admitted Neymar in an interview with JQ. Memphis Depay will agree to become a Barcelona player only if Koeman stays in the club. Hansi Flick's contract with the German national team will last for three years. He will be involved in the 2022 World Cup and UEFA Euro 2024. Kylian Mbappe will make a statement about his future immediately after the end of the season in Liga 1, according to RMC Sports. Antonio Conte makes no guarantees that he will stay with Inter. The Italian wants to meet with management to assess the club's budget and prospects for the next season. The current roster of Manchester United is still far behind from Manchester City and is not ready to compete for the title, Roy Keane told the Daily Mail. The results of yesterday's matches are in front of you. Now, it's time for us to dive into the main news of the release. Let's take a quick look at Thursday's fixtures. Manchester United and Liverpool finally met in the postponed game of the matchday 34 of the Premier League. The Merseysides grabbed all three points at Old Trafford. Firmino scored a brace while Jota and Salah succeeded in one goal each. As for the Red Devils, only Fernandes and Rashford were able to strike accurate shots. Now we are in Spain. Real Madrid confidently won away from Granada in the matchday 36 of La Liga thanks to the efforts of Modric, Rodrigo, Odriozola and Benzema. 1-4. The Merengues continue to chase Atletico for the championship gold. There are two points between them and two matchdays before the end of the season. 
Last up, Germany, where the German Cup final took place, in which Borussia Dortmund withstand Leipzig with 4-1. A brace by Sancho, a brace by Holland, and now the Hornets have their gold medals. Well, Nagelsmann will have to take revenge in the new season as coach of Bayern. There is a bomb of news from the Catalan newspaper Sport. Sergio Aguero accepted Barcelona's offer for a two-year contract. The Argentinian agreed to a salary cut and the role of a reserve striker. All that just to be next to Lionel Messi. As a reminder, Barca will receive Sergio for free as he leaves Manchester City this summer as a free agent. At the same time, El Charanguita writes that the option with the signing of Memphis Depay is no longer valid. Joan Laporta, the president of the Blog Runners, doesn't want to see the Dutch striker in the ranks of the team, despite the fact that he is the main transfer aim of Ronald Koeman. Apparently, this is another confirmation of Laporta's dissatisfaction with the current head coach, who is threatened with sacking for unsatisfactory results this season. By the way, yesterday they dined together in one of the restaurants in Barcelona and should report the results of the fateful meeting in the upcoming days. As for Depay, his chances of joining the dream team are in question, because Laporta can't stop believing in the purchase of Erling Haaland. The president continues to look for different ways that would help him to bring the star of Borussia Dortmund to the Camp Nou, adds Sport. The auditing company KPMG has rolled out its rating of the most expensive footballers in the world. The first place on the list went to Kylian Mbappe. His price tag is 189 million euros. The second is Erling Haaland with 131 million. And in third place was Harry Kane, 127. Yes, friends, that is exactly how it is. Times are changing and now there are no Cristiano Ronaldo or Lionel Messi in such rankings. By the way, the whole top 10 looks like this. PSG has made a starting offer to Sergio Ramos, according to Food Mercato. The Parisians have prepared a two-year contract for the Real Madrid defender with an option of extension for a third. The source doesn't indicate the specific numbers but notes that the salary offer of the Red Blues and an impressive signing bonus significantly exceed the amount that Ramos is discussing with the Merengues in the negotiations for a new contract. And yet Sergio asked PSG management to give him time until the end of the season to make a conclusive decision. Xavi extended his contract with Qatari Al Sadd until 2023 and denied all Spanish media rumors that he could lead Barcelona this summer. The news of the clause in the contract allowing me to leave at any moment is not true. I am linked to a two-season contract with Al Sadd, and I respect this contract. The club's official website quoted Xavi as saying, Kylian Mbappe will move to Real Madrid this summer, according to market journalist Ramon Alvarez. The PSG star will definitely leave the French club to become the first top-notch signing of the Galacticos on the way to a massive restructuring of the roster. At the same time, Mbappe doesn't care at all whether Zinedine Zidane will remain the head coach of the team. The main thing for Kylian is to become the face of Real's new project. Guys, to believe the source or not, it's up to you. But just in case, we will clarify that it was Alvarez who was the first to report on the Super League announcement. So this guy knows something for sure. Friends, we recommend the latest video on our top football project. The guys talked about famous football players who cheated on their wives. Check it out for yourself. It was Football News. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.